Go on then, what's the plan? Right. It's a posh spot, it's isn't it? it? Yeah, it's a posh spot. Here you go. This Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE is what Guy wants to use for his big jump. Yeah. Sit on it, see what you think. I don't yeah. feel bad at all. This bike is not specifically designed for jumping, so stunt coordinator Andy Godbold has had it for the last few days to test it, jump it, and make sure he's happy that it's right for the job. Andy's the man. Hello, guys. So we've just finished trying the bike. We're really pleased with it. We've probably reached the limit now with the suspension as it is. We jumped 60 foot and close to the 8 foot in height. It probably needs some adjustments there, the compression and the rebounds. Could maybe lose a little bit of weight if there's anything that could be done there. Nice. And overall, really chuffed with the bike and be interested to see what you think. Really good. That's good. Spot on. We can deal with that. That's very easy. With the forks, even with the standard springs, we can increase the oil level a little bit. Yeah. You get a lot more rising rate okay. on okay. the forks at the end of the okay. travel. Yes. On the rear end, we can get some different springs. Oh, so we go a bit stronger. Yeah. This is all about getting the landing comfortable for you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, the other thing that Andy mentioned is if we can get some mass off the bike. Just be a bit easier to jump if it weighs less. It'll go up in, in the air a bit easier and come down a bit easier. So, there's plenty of stuff on this bike that's there for comfort, it's there for when you've got a passenger and it's there to be road legal. Mm -hmm. So, we'll start there. Yeah, go on. How's the toolbox locking? Alan, bolt that end. And you'll have to take the end cap off. Took loads of stuff off. Wing mirrors, mug guards. Just getting started. Well, what else are we getting rid of? Do you want to charge your phone That's while you Not really, jump mate. In? Not no? really. You don't think of that, would you? They put a phone charger under the seat. Oh, I'll be phone with me. That can all come yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, we'll take this rear mudguard off, the lights, the hangers. We've got a single connector in there, the rear light. Just release that. We can put a smaller battery in this as well. <laughs> hey, that's all come off in one. All right? Feel nice and easy. Look at this. All right? Look at this, Brian. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the Euro 4 stuff, isn't it? The catalyst, catalyst, converter, and rare earth metals and all that in there. It's got to have all that to get through the emissions, but we don't need that in South Germany. There'll be Two a fair rattle here. off that without a silencer, won't it? Yeah, I'll put my earplugs in. Go on. Right. There we go. I reckon Lots we'll get hell. rid of all of that and just put some studs on for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All makes a difference. Come up with a colour scheme for this, Guy. Go on. What do you reckon? If it was down to me, I'd have it shit brown with flames on it or something. <laughs> that's what I'd have, you know. That's brilliant. But well, that's not going to go down very well, is it, with you boys? So, I don't well, know, it's got to be some sort of green, hasn't it? I reckon so. In keeping. I reckon that one. Right. Yeah. That's a yeah, 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 yeah. Got the feel of the old bike. Yeah. Just sit astride that and see if you can tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah, feel the difference, just moving it about in the, in the workshop, yeah. It does feel lighter. Half manageable, really. Noticeable. Yeah. It's a good start, isn't it?